हेलो एवरी वन हाई पैट्रिक कैन यू गाइज हेयर मी क्लियरली लेट मी टर्न ऑफ द फैन फैन इज अंग कैन यू गाइज हेयर मी ओके फाइन सो इफ यू नोटिस समथिंग न्यू लाइक एड एड ए बैकग्राउंड म्यूजिंग हाउ इज इट Just give me a minute. Okay. Ah. Hi, Alberto. Good to have you. Galicia, Spain. Awesome. What time is it? Cool. No. <laughs> okay. YouTube has decided you have no name. No issues. Cool. Yeah. Shall we start? <laughs> Make anything with us, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Cool. I don't know. I decided to have like since I promised I will have an episode on Saturday. I decided to have it like. because i was roaming here and there household chores and everything during the day so why not like at the night we can silently build something for 1.5 hours at least so let me switch to screen sharing and weirdly it is sharing the wrong screen okay now okay So yeah, if you joined in the last last stream, which was this Wednesday, uh, you might have known where were we. So we basically added some doc types for clinics and doctors, and we were able to create this. So we didn't create this. This was automatically generated when we enabled web view. But when you click this, we did. make this page like fetch to the doctor uh, it's his specialty and the timings which comes from the schedule shift doc type which we created and then we were we created this web form where the patient can enter his name contact number and then select the shift and book an appointment so it's broken right why because of the code we had so let's open up our code frappe slash bench zero apps appointments app let's open it up so we have appointment dot py and we are trying to add this particular patient to the queue but that queue doesn't exist so we have to solve that first thing so that's one thing and then i have some things in my notion that i want to basically cool let me just open up and so yeah we will add a chart and a dashboard as well uh so yeah if we get time we'll set up the sms notification and yeah queue number that we needed to solve right dynamically showing them the queue number once the form is submitted cool let's get to work so kush mistri ask any tutorial for frappe yes of course so currently there are like written tutorial as well as a course on frappe school i can share you the link if you want let me just share the link frappe framework.com/docs and you can start at frappe framework so after installing you can start here i'll share you this link and then the next is frappe.school all free courses just sign up and you can like start watching it uh, the one by abby is nice so you can 
Okay. This is the link. Cool. I hope this will help you get started with Frappe. Two, two, two. Cool. And yeah, join every Wednesday, 2.30 p.m. Build with us and you will see something getting built and you will slowly learn to build stuff with Frappe. Yeah, so let's fix this first. So what I'm thinking is let's do test driven development, right? I haven't done this in any of the episodes, but now I like perfect use case because if this fails, patients, patients are unable to book an appointment. So it's a mission critical <laughs> feature, right? Cool. Uh, let me close extra stuff. Yeah. So I will start by writing a test, right? So there is a test file as well created for you when you create a doc type and we can write our test here. So what do I want to do? Basically I want to test, this should be a separate, uh, what do you call? Utility function for adding like to appointment queue. So I will create a function that basically takes in the date, the shift and the clinic and then takes an appointment name and adds them to the queue. So let's write def uh, test. So any test case should start with the word test. Test, what do you want to test? Cool, 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 cool. Mm, test uh, appointment queue. Let's call it add to appointment queue self. So how do we run this test? Uh, what I will do is I have this extension installed. Frappe test runner, right? By Ankush Menat, our very own VP of engineering. And we can go to UI. So UI settings and Frappe. And we need to set the site to which the test should be run. So what is it called? Appointments.local. Let's copy this, paste it here, hit save, close it. And now what I can do it, I can hit command shift P and run nearest test. So it will run this test. Okay, so we have to allow the test. Let's copy this. This is to prevent unnecessary tests getting run on production site. And now I will hit command shift V run nearest test. Okay, it ran because it's an empty test. So fine. Now what we want is we want to call a function that doesn't exist yet. I add to appointment queue that takes in the clinic, the day and the shift, right? And an appointment, right? and add it, adds it to the queue. So let's create a test clinic. Okay, Copilot is helping here. Frappe dot get doc. So let me uncomment. So I'll just create some test record, records as well. Doc type is clinic. Uh, name is test clinic. What, uh, what else is required in clinic.json? So doctor contact number route. Okay, contact number is required. Doctor is required. So first we need to create a test doctor. Rapid dot get doc. Cool dot insert. Cool, this works. Now we have some test records. Now what I can do is day can be any test day like uh, 11, 10, 10, 
2023 i hope this is like the correct format in frappe expects it let's check it out cool anybody new joining in uh, what do we want appointment list yeah 12723 let's open the javascript console clear it and i want to see current form dot date doc dot date yeah it's like a different format so let's copy this anything works because we are hard coding it we need to create a shift for this clinic as well so clinic list so how do i jump to the shifts of this clinic right so let's make it easier by so we are enhancing the app as we go i'll go to schedule shift i will see okay it's linked to clinic using link field and name is clinic okay so what we can do is we'll go to the clinic doc type to do to do to do and i will go to link the documents schedule shift field name is uh, clinic i'll hit save now what i can do is if i refresh i'll see this connections right now it will be easier to jump to hi good afternoon capacity observer ha cool username yeah so now i was able to jump into the shift so let's create any test shift start time and time in clinic is required so let's create shift equal to frappe dot i don't want to give it a name start time and time Uh, it, the doc type name is schedule so it feels hard to write some tests but uh, they will be worth it soon enough so it will be clinic dot name shift dot name uh, so let's give it start time and end time frappe dot oh uh, no current form dot dog dot start time and end time cool let's take this we'll hard code this and time awesome now we have test records uh, we just need to create an appointment so the thing is then what we need to do is we don't need after insert so it should happen separately but that will create an issue okay fine it won't it won't if it is a separate function it won't let's not worry about that but uh, let's create an appointment appointment equal to frappe dot get doc what all what all is required for an appointment appointment patient name good afternoon donald from the nature island of caribbean awesome so how is the weather there clinic date shift okay clinic sunny awesome shift date patient name uh patient name is right right patient name 
is fine. What else? Awesome. Dot insert. Okay. Let's run the test. Like, hopefully we haven't messed it up yet. Okay, it failed. First name and speciality is required for doctor. Okay, fine. First name. Speciality. Pediatrician. Okay. So, my, meanwhile, while we are here, let's write a tear down. So DB should roll back, should do, I think. Okay. Failed. Contact number is mandatory. Okay. We should make it not mandatory, but yeah, how do we send messages then? Contact number of what? Clinic, okay, fine. This is not the one I was. Doc type is required. <laughs> what did we do? Okay, here. Doc type is appointment. Appointment queue doesn't exist. Yeah, this was the issue we need to fix. Okay, test failing test is the first step to TDD. Thanks, thanks, Ronald. Proud Chandrayaan 3. Still like a way to go. Cool. Okay, so now what do we do? So here are like here is one thing that I learned while I was like in Frappe Cloud team and there was an invoice doc type. So basically what happens is every day, if your site is active, we add a usage record to the invoice, right? To your invoice, your team's invoice. So what happens is like the invoice is created at the end of every month via background job. And it may fail. The creation of the next month invoice may fail. So just to be precautionous, if you are adding a usage record, okay, your site is active and you try to access the invoice, there is some code that checks, okay, if the invoice exists, then add it, otherwise create a new invoice because it is going to be required in the future as well. So here is like the same approach we will take here. We'll create the queue if it doesn't exist, but we'll also write a background job that creates the queue for every clinic shift date pair like date is the today's date at midnight cool let's do it so i'll go back so i believe we added a field appointment dot pi Uh, what? Okay. Yeah. Here is the get doc. It is failing. So let's do one thing. Let's replace it with db dot exists. Right. We are checking whether this exists. Appointment. Appointment. Q exists okay if appointment queue exists odd but what this returns is the name of so if you go here and to bend the site so exists should return like true or false but it returns a name so maybe we shouldn't use it let's do get doc instead 
so let's do mm -hmm. filters equal to so we can reuse this part filters and then let's add it here now we can do filters awesome now we can do this part but wait we can write it more like succinctly so let's create a new appointment queue update it with the filters and save it ignore permissions is fine because yeah we need to ignore the permissions so we ran the test this time right and it worked it didn't fail but we haven't checked one thing that whether the queue number is assigned or not cool so let's do this so how do we oh ran zero test no no it didn't run the test so let's so the cursor needs to be at the test cool run nearest test okay it ran one test queue number is one so it's printing to the console but somehow we need to check right so how do we check it so what i will do is it is automatically adding it to queue right so let's remove the print statement add appointment to queue it's returning the queue number right so let's do this mm. so i'm just thinking ahead of like getting ahead of me that what if the queue number changes right they mess up the <laughs> child table we will figure out that at that time uh, so what i will do is self dot so we added a field to store this queue number yeah that's it queue number equal to this self dot save ignore permissions is fine and now we'll what i will do is i'll go to the test i will do self dot okay this because there will be no appointments then it should mean the queue number should be one right so let's run the test yeah it passed it works and i can run it again as well cool let's do one thing let's write just one more appointment and assert that the queue number is 2 this will be the real test cool awesome test driven development right <laughs> and now i will go back to my form web form list and since the test is passing i'm pretty sure the appointment is going to be created Let's go back to web form list, book appointment, see on website. Let's give uh, my name. Shift is any shift doesn't matter. Any clinic, book appointment. Cool. Display the queue number assigned to them. That is a to do. That will do. No issues. Queue number is two. Like that is hard coded. But yeah. TDD awesome queue is working so as long as these tests are passing we are fine so let's push it to like just feet we have fixed something right so let's add a commit we fixed what handle case when appointment queue doesn't exist but what i also want is let's go to hooks.py uh, scheduled yeah scheduled i uncomment this i want to run it daily 
do I want to run? Daily dot tasks is fine. Uh, where do I create this function? What will be a good place? This will be a good place. Appointments app dot appointments app dot doc type dot appointment q q u e u e dot not update q status create queues for today and i will write this function here def create queues for today pass awesome so what this does is scheduler events basically it will trigger this whatever path you have defined will trigger this every day uh, at midnight and at that time we'll create the queues that don't exist so let's on comment frappe create queues for today what do we do so for all, clinics equal to prepare dot d dot uh, get all enabled uh, okay it's giving a good idea that okay only clinics that are enabled for us that should be is published so whichever are published on the website right and clinic so pluck the name of that clinic and i'm going to write a little bit suboptimal code here but bear with me for clinic clinic in clinics uh, what do i want to do basically create an appointment queue if doesn't exist right so first we'll check if it is existing so we also have a flag in uh, what do you call prepare dot doc dot insert in insert you can provide ignore if exists Let's try that instead. Use ignore if exists. Yeah, get doc. Come on, copilot. Clinic frappe dot utils dot today will give the date. Uh, but we also want to do this for all the shifts right so let's do one thing for shifts rapid dot get all schedule shift clinic awesome for yeah this is what i wanted so do we test it should we test it let's let's write test today i'm all in the mood of like test driven development so why not mm, test appointment queue def test create queues for today create test records so let's do one thing let's go to test appointment and get our test records and paste them here let's uncomment frappe so shift cool uh, now what do we want 
we want to test right so let's import that from appointments app dot appointments app create queues for today okay it imported the correct method and assuming the create queues for today so what do i want to assert right in test we want to assert okay before i want to assert zero queues exists assert no queues exist right so how do i do that rapid dot db dot count of appointment queue should be equal to zero awesome now assert exactly one queue exists and that queue is for the above clinic and shift and today's date that's a critical thing to test so let's do a get doc that's cool but this will fail uh, Let's run this test. Okay, let's add a tear down. Roll back. So the test records don't stay in our site. Run nearest test. Failed. Two is not equal to zero. Ha. Yeah, I got it because there is already a queue that we can delete maybe for testing purposes. Appointment. So now we have gone in like into the real app development stuff not, not just like shallow we are writing tests and those tests are running in the ci i will show you automatically so let's delete this queue and this queue hopefully it will let me delete it yeah and then run the test it failed so there is no ignore if exists ha okay 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 not ignore if exists ignore if duplicate ignore if duplicate that's the power of writing tests you get to catch like lots of these errors failed okay what went wrong Appointment queue two not equal to one. Hmm. Okay. What will happen is uh, when this function will run and create queues for today, it will also create like for the test. What do you call for the non-test documents? Hmm. So how do I prevent it? Okay, so there is one thing. Cool. What I will do is, ha, I'll not cheat, but uh, so there is this. What do you call? It? There is this flag that you can hook into to check rapid dot flags dot in test. Right, it is false here but it will be true when the tests are running. So what I will do is when, just for the sake of testing, if in test else this clinics equal to yep it understands so let's run the test again it failed okay so it didn't create any appointment queue hmm name is test clinic name is test clinic let's add a break point here and debug 
clinix empty string uh, empty list okay most probably here is the issue is published is not true let's run the test again awesome and now i'll remove the breakpoint and hopefully the test should pass no issues mintes not mintes not how do i pronounce 90% sure i am pronouncing your wrong name no issues you are not like we were doing test driven development so we are fixing the queuing issue okay test passes awesome and now okay doesn't exist awesome so so it will create the queue for today did we write an exhaustive test create queues for today it should create one queue and what if what if what if let's do two queues so we test is even more robust 16 to 20 shift test shift 1 test shift 2 in the test cool the test passes now the test is more robust that is cool cool we have done this we added it to hooks.py so it will run daily at 12 pm that's awesome let's feed create queues in scheduled job daily with tests we did wrote test okay awesome. so now i push it here right and i have shared the link in the description as well where this is getting pushed so let me what i can do is git remote dash v and i can click this link to jump to my github repository and as you can see it is automatically running it will automatically run the test right run test so where did it come from like when we were creating the app if you go back and watch we were given an option to set up the workflow github actions workflow for running test like we entered yes and it set it up cool so let's hope it was not failing before and if it was okay it wasn't cool was a tick so it should also pass this time otherwise we have to fix our tests awesome what was next in our list queues are fixed no 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 let me just open up notion again it opens in this monitor that's fine okay <laughs> fine you can see my dashboard here. okay i don't have much battery on my phone ah that's fine we still have 34 minutes left so this is done let's track it off so this we can do like appointment time series chart for a particular doctor that can be a report as well cool let's see uh, sms notification csr app token yeah so okay this was like this is a cool hack i was thinking if it does work so here is the idea basically when you go to this okay let's go to um, clinic list come on and I visit the 
website and I click on book appointment. So I am in a session and when I click on book appointment, I'm in the same session, right? The browser session, I mean, so CSRF token should be same. So if during the creation of an appointment, I add it to the cache with the key CSRF token plus something. And when I'm rendering the template that shows the queue number, right? That should give me the queue number in that page. So that's my hypothesis, but let's test it out. So what I will do is I will check the CSRF token here. Console. So how do I check? Most probably it should be attached to the head somehow. Or even better, CSRF prepy dot session no CSRF token yeah. So this is the CSRF token on this page. Now it's getting a little advanced, but bear with me. Nothing too fancy. Tests are still okay. Tests pass. So if we go here and check the run test thing it ran two tests right awesome which were the two tests we wrote so tests are passing we can be confident okay it is working cool 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 csrf token is this and if now what i will do is I'll copy it somewhere let's copy it into notion itself csrf token on web hi ajit welcome back token on web form so this is the csrf token while we are in the web form and let's check the csrf token in that page so i'll enter uh, this, this this shift is fine let's book an appointment is there a breakpoint no come on okay so now it will redirect us to the page q number is 2 let's check the csrf token csrf token and i will bring back this okay it's different i think so or same csrf token triple equal to let's find out awesome so yeah we can use that trick <laughs> awesome awesome so what i will do is when i am so this is just a trick if we write our own web form we should be able to control it and like pass in the queue number ourselves but since we want to use the web form i'm showing you a cool hack to pass in data from your web form basically submission to the success page. So what I will do is uh, cool. So let's test it out in the console first. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't like put the mail. I put it on Twitter and LinkedIn. Okay. So what you can do is basically I don't know. <laughs> so you can like not watch it right now and watch the recording maybe. Sorry, sorry, Ajit. Really sorry. I, I have to automate it somehow. I don't know because yeah, hmm. I'll automate. Maybe let's automate it live next week. Automate the sending of email. So you get an email like three or at least three or four hours before I go live. That should be the deal. Make sense, Ajit? I too feel bad now. Uh, sorry, sorry. I just realized that. Yeah, let's automate it next week. <laughs> because we built the recent integration before I went on offsite. So let's leverage that now. Cool. Where were we? So okay queue number add to appointment queue 
and that works and yeah here here what we'll do is frappe dot cache dot set value attach csrf token plus q number as key and q number as value SID does this contain the CSRF token? I don't know. So this should be literally Q number. And then cache dot set value. So we have added it to the cache. So it will set this in the Redis cache. And in our template, uh, where is the template? success with queue number we should be able to not from the form deck let's get it from prepare dot cache dot so instead of this let's do one thing we'll make it simpler so let's rename this to success and i will create a context file def get context self pass import frappe now what i should be able to do is i should be able to use anything i passed to this context not self no 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 this is context yeah. so i can attach context uh, what do i call it yeah no cache is one thing. Yep, this is so ladder we'll Q number. So hopefully this works. If it does, like we are successfully able to hack some stuff. So let's try it out. I'll go back to the web form. Cool, let it load. Awesome. How much time do we have? Uh, 25 minutes. Okay. Awesome. We'll make the dashboard and we'll close it up. Maybe we'll need a third session because what I did is I bought a domain jdpdoctors.in and I want to like really get this to production. Then we will see all the stuff that can go wrong. Um, so I, I'm going to pitch a doctor most probably next week in my city to use this system in his and then hopefully if I get like a yes, then we'll proceed with more of it dealing with production issues, dealing with whatnot. So pray for it, like it gets accepted and like everyone is happy in this because doctors get better insights. They have to keep less attendees and then the, the major benefit goes to the user. They can basically browse a list, book an appointment. They can get a message, okay, your appointment is about to come and so on and so forth in this small city. Maybe it's in Mumbai or Bangalore. It's already there for some hospitals, but for my city, this is like, this will be a good thing. Cool. John, contact number is something. Shift is this. Let's book an appointment. Come on. Come on. Okay, so appointment is booked. Not found. Okay, fine. So I got what I did wrong. Let's go to web form list. And settings, customizations. Okay, I just want to go to slash success now. So if I go to slash success right now, it should work right because 
it already has the csrf token success and the correct q number should come up q number is 2 why let's check new what is happening oh no i need to reload the web form i forgot to reload it patient name is something shift is this let's book an appointment five four three two one Q number is four. Let's go back. This should be five. Shift is this five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Now we can do all sorts of stuff. Cool trick. Rewatch if you want, but this works. <laughs> cool. So suddenly I got this idea while I was wondering what is common between these two pages, right? And this even works. Yeah, yeah, sure. So we started by, so what happened is like the queues weren't automatically getting created. So we had an appointment queue doc type, if you recall, and in when anyone booked an appointment, they are added to that queue doc types child table till that we did in the last episode right but the problem now was that for that day and shift the queue doc type should exist then only we can add it to the its style table but the issue was it wasn't existing so what we did was we took a test driven development upload uh, approach and we wrote this test oh, where is it test appointment yeah we wrote this test that when an appointment is created it should be successfully created even if the queue doesn't exist, right? So we went here and just this did this one thing that if the queue doesn't exist, create an appointment queue, right? Like if it does exist, get that queue. Otherwise create a new queue and then add it to the queue. This fix that issue, right? Um, is it clear Ajit? So that issue was fixed. And then the next thing was the queue should automatically be created at midnight for every day and shift. So we wrote a scheduled event, scheduler event that runs daily and creates queues for that day. So it is inside appointment queue.py. It goes over every clinic the published clinic and for every clinic it goes over the schedule shifts and creates a queue for that day so it runs at midnight so for that day right it ignores if duplicate so even if this job reruns for some reason duplicates won't be created and yeah that was that so we handled it in both cases if the background job fails, an appointment queue isn't created and someone goes to the web form to create a new appointment, it should create a new appointment if it doesn't exist. It won't throw an error. So if you rewind back, it was throwing an error. Yeah, that okay, queue doesn't exist. Why are you trying to add it to the queue? So append this, this was giving an error. Like get doc was giving an error. Okay, queue doesn't exist. And now it was gone through this and we did a test driven development. So we are for sure that okay now this works we also wrote another test basically for uh, test appointment queue that makes sure that that create queues for today works as expected so we create some test records doctor clinic some shifts and then we run this method explicitly and then we assert okay now there should be two queues after this function is run right for shift one and shift two and first one is like asserting equal okay no queues exist and then create queues for today and two queues exist makes sense this is what we did in terms of queues 
and the next thing was getting the queue number right in the success page because in the web form we cannot pass dynamic success url right so we used a trick that we can use the csrf token for this session <laughs> i don't know how reliable it is for now it's like a good solution and we fill in the details we get like an appointment number basically the index of that child table and then we set it in the cache right that queue number and when we are rendering the success page we get that queue number attached to the context that now we can so this name should exactly match if you want this context to be available in your jinja template right so now the queue number is displayed perfectly even if they go to the success page manually they should be able to see their last whatever success like the queue number awesome we fixed the issue let's get to one more thing so one more was this time series chart that i wanted it should be easy but the issue is only like how do you do it by per doctor right hmm so let's create a new workspace we'll make it public i will call it uh nah, star appointments no issues ajit you're welcome appointments let's do a parent no i don't want to do parent let's choose an icon hopefully there is something related to hospital yeah this is cool create i want to go to the settings and add it to appointment app hit save and yeah here we are i don't know there is some bug with the workspace it's fine fix q number in success page clever ha okay star appointments and now we can let's add a uh, add some stuff here so what do i want i want to do to to do to shortcut to doc type i want to link to clinic all clinics published clinics and let's do a filter is published is yes so okay so i do have like the recordings of frappe framework training that i conducted last month and i want to edit them they won't be like super cool edited and what not since they were like also live kind of but i will try to edit them that they make the most sense they are like beginner friendly so you just need like basics of python javascript and uh, any mvc framework do you have any uh, so django or something like that and then you can like use those tutorials to get good at frappe basically they also come with like practice exercises and what not so like give me a week <laughs> i will try to edit it uh, next to next week hopefully Let's do a green color or cyan. It's fine. Let's hit save. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Published clinics is one. Awesome. Uh, so now this workspace will be here as well. So it generates a JSON file. it's cool what else do we want so i want to create a chart let's add a chart new dashboard chart is standard 
so we can so it lives with our app right this will be appointments per day for last quarter time interval is daily time series document type is appointment time series time series based on created on there's one more bit right date okay this is uh what do we want do we want the date for that appointment okay this one appointments per day let's leave it to created on filter is is fine let's choose a color to be this color and is public save this should go give us a like decent chart that we can use to see how many appointments are being created in the system so now let's add it here chart these sorts of stuff are very useful when you are deploying to production and not a toy app because people would want to see some statistics of the system right the usage or activity what is it called yeah hi suleiman thanks 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 for the appreciation uh so label can be appointments per day awesome we have the chart let's save it cool six appointments on 27 six appointments today makes sense we also have appointment queue i guess yeah so we will be able to, uh, we should write reports we should do all sorts of stuff if you guys want so this is done like when we go closer to production sms notification hmm should we do it today we have 10 minutes left or should we deploy it to frappe cloud mm hmm i'm confused you guys tell me deploy it to frappe cloud or configure sms notification so frappe cloud will be done in 10 minutes i guess but sms notifications so many things can go wrong <laughs> because it will be third party dependent so yeah i need to sign up for a service look for a service i did look for sms service india so transactional sms service india text local number 1 bulk sms service i want something cheap pricing so 10 messages is free <laughs> okay fine 1000 messages is 295 mm hmm what else what else do we have let's do pricing 5000 sms 0.2 inr per sms they have this weird cursor amount is this gst is this validity is one year so no free stuff okay let's go with the first one <laughs> create a few account as hosan at frappe.io come on we don't allow samuel from already used ip address this ha weird stuff do did they send an email to me no they are losing signups for sure Ha. Let's see if we have any other bulk SMS gateway in Hyderabad. 
very specific 1800 rupees 0 0.18 so let's do one thing just Twilio have SMS API programmable messaging API yeah for now I will use this and maybe in production we can ship something cheaper curl dash g this this dash u auth token send messages yeah from hi there to hmm. SMS send your first SMS give me a number I am going to lose for outside number make an HTTP post to your account's message resource if you send messages while in you must first verify two phone numbers so to alone knows you own it if you attempt to send a message that's fine okay let's first do one thing there is notification list right so let's see what it can take as parameters or as an api call notification sms okay sms settings sms settings gateway url message parameter receiver parameter static parameters it's like very old maybe needs a refactor so the child table should not be like this and that okay maybe we can contribute it so even url is in all small we can go for maybe additional set setup so here uh, is the deal hmm maybe cheaper than sms but yeah that would be assuming like everyone has whatsapp but yeah if they're using a browser to make an appointment maybe they have we are dilemma but i wanted to so show this notification doc type and without installing any third party app and since they are, we are asking their contact number sms makes sense to me for now going forward maybe maybe move to like since banks and everyone just sends and you can't send a message uh, there are some restrictions in whatsapp that makes it harder to send messages without consent and everything no no telegram can be very easy but i can't assume like i can easily for sure say that very low population in my city uses telegram so yeah this sorts of decisions we have to <laughs> look for this app yeah where was i sms settings so sms gateway url okay let's test it out let's sign up maybe i already have an account most probably i have an account with twilio okay this is my personal email please don't email me on this i already have like a lot of emails coming in i don't recall the password as well did it work did it work okay pick the spiral galaxy this was new pick the spiral galaxy pick the spiral galaxy ha this i don't like you complete all the stuff and then they tell you the password is wrong fine 
Spiral Galaxy Spiral Galaxy Okay, cool, I forgot my password Let me go Okay, reset password email sent. Do, 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 do. Reset your password. What? At least 16 characters. Six, seven, wait. Does it generate for me? No. Five more characters. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Weird. Very weird. Let's do one thing. Random string generator. <laughs> I shouldn't do this, but I will hide my screen and then I want 16 characters long. Let's see if it accepts this one. Okay, it accepted. Let me save it somewhere. Otherwise I will lose it. That's done. Okay, I will go back here. I will log in. Yeah. Very weird. Quantum computers are gonna come and like break every password. Yeah. This account is locked due to too many login attempts. Very well. Cool last attempt and then we'll wrap the session up. We'll take another session. That's fine because it's like midnight. <laughs> the real be real behind the scenes stuff. Struggling with SaaS services. Don't ask me to worry. What? yeah that's like natural right you okay people building advanced technology and then also building solutions to prevent any negative use cases like for ai okay let's copy account sid So 
so we need to send a message so we need to verify a two, two phone number as well uh, do you have phone number I got a trial phone number awesome I can send a message so I have like 12.48 dollars that's awesome let's verify my phone number already verified that's awesome yeah maybe that's on the list as well so there are like so many things on the list to build so spoiler alert next month i have four invited speakers at least so there is mayank slash someone else from frappe then there is ankush who is going to like deep dive into frappe framework low level stuff and then we have maharshi who is going to build like some feature of print designer and he's going to walk you through the code as well and then maybe rohit from stock and manufacturing team will help you like he will do a live complete round of contribution into erp next code base right from replication to test case to pr descriptions <laughs> hope you guys like it collab month cool uh so let's send a message and then we will close it up so insomnia i'm not going to use the notification rock time i'll just use this so let's do this this is fine let's send message console account sid so this is a secret id maybe i should change it later but and to from body body from to curl status callback is fine should be my twilio phone number twilio so this is not my phone number <laughs> so don't call uh so i have this test phone number cool then what status call back let's use whatever they provide resolve host name okay what is the base path what is the base path for their api api.twilo.com no credentials provided okay token is also required so let's 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 what do we do yeah so hopefully 
this will work and what I will do is I will set up this behind the scenes stuff and then we'll connect and do the wiring of the stuff makes sense pretty night nice and cool goodbye guys uh, bye Ajit bye Raymond bye Suleiman cool see you guys cool cool yeah good night